Hello! Welcome! It is me! Doodle Frongus. Hello! Hello! Wow! How's it going, guys? How's it going? Honestly, I'm not feeling the best right now because I have like a headache that hasn't gone away. I took Tylenol. I took Tylenol, man, but it's not going. But hopefully, stream will help me feel better. The wave? Yeah! I gotta use the animations more. They're really cute. Oof, yeah. But, you know, we're gonna be playing Chicory today. I get to hang out with you guys. So hopefully, it makes it go away. Also, lots of water, too. I have a water bottle with me. Thank you, Cabal! Thank you for the head pat! Yes, gentle head pats are the thing I need. Gotta get on the Excedrin train for headaches? <laughs> I don't know if I need that much for it. Um, I don't really have migraines, so I don't... I feel like if I take Excedrin, it would be like using a sledgehammer to, to hit a nail in. Because I don't have headaches too, too often, but I think maybe it was like how I slept last night. Maybe I didn't get enough water. Hope the headache passes quickly is able. Thank you. I think, yeah, I really do think it's like a dehydration headache because, like, despite taking pain meds, it didn't go away. Or it might be a caffeine related headache, you know? I am. <laughs> I, uh, earlier last week, I didn't drink a caffeine for like a few days, and then I had like this headache that went away as soon as I drank coffee. So, like, yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> I don't really drink, um, I don't drink, uh, energy drinks as much, but I do drink coffee. So yeah, that's a thing. Just gotta deal with it, I guess. Hopefully it goes away soon. Anyway, how are y'all doing? A uh, long time no see from Koro stream? <laughs> I mean, I already saw y'all over there. I'm logging into Uma Musume right now because I just realized that I hadn't done, uh, I hadn't logged in yet today. Uh, uh, <laughs> that's when you know you got a gotcha problem. Not really. I gotta take care of my little horse girls. They need me. It's not. It's like. They need me, otherwise they'll die. Okay, I did that. Anyway. I've- I've missed Chicory. I- honestly, I wanted to play a little bit more of it. So that's why we're doing it today on the stream. And hopefully it's a good time. I don't get headaches that often, but I pay for it with chronic depression, apparently. <laughs> Well, <laughs> yeah. I mean, like there are people who have chronic depression and, ha and and get migraines too, which is awful. I mean, wait, Bebop, don't you get migraines? I'm not sure. I think you you might have mentioned it before because you use Excedrin to treat your migraines. So, hey, I got chicory up. Let's go there. It's just gonna be chill. Okay, turn off the chicory music. That's not coming from chicory. And turn on the chicory trick chicory. Chicory dickory. Oh, I gotta update. Fuck. Bad enough to make me vomit sometimes even? Yeah, I've heard migraines get really bad. Um that's awful, Bebop. I'm glad that you found like Excedrin helps for you. So it's Good that you at least have something that can help a little bit. But migraines. I'm I'm really happy that I don't get them. They sound awful. Excedrin cookie, <laughs> gentlest head pats. Excedrin edible. We we introduce in the the concept of uh, <laughs> Excedrin edible here. Oh yeah, I forgot that I don't. Uh, use this. I don't play this game in controller mode. It's like I point at the screen. 
Okay. This ain't edible ain't shit. Ooh! Ooh! Oh, I think I might be feeling it. <laughs> I can see it now. The perfect beach party. At first I thought it said the perfect beach body. And I'm like... Okay. I didn't know they would be talking about beach bodies in this. Okay, place it on a flat surface. Yeah. Uh... Okay. Oh yeah, we left it like this. What? We have that headband on? Last year you had that happen? Wait, did you try an edible cabal? Of of what type? Of the of the 420 kind or What the hell were we doing? I don't want aunt's edibles. It took four and a half hours to kick in. Huh! <laughs> four and a half hours? It was weed chocolate. Also, this this music is a bit loud. But, uh, wow. Um, I've never had edibles take that long to kick in. At most, it's been, it was like an hour or two. Well, like an hour where you start, like, feeling it, and then two is, like, when it really starts kicking in. Time to call home to see what Mother Dog has to say about the plot. True, we gotta find a, um... A phone booth. A phone booth. I forgot that our dad, dad is a raccoon, too. I think that, that was it. Phone booth, mom! Mommy, I want to hear your voice. I miss you, mommy. God, I keep getting in everyone's way. It fucking needed you. It lasted for nine hours? Oh my god. God, I I just uh, I just take gummies now, cause it's like in where. I, well, I guess it would dox me if I said where I am in terms of of weed, weed legality. But let's just say that I can I can get it, but it's like a weird loophole, cause it's not really weed. It's not like THC. It's like Delta Eight or something. Father. Father. <laughs> Father Rack. So it's like, it's a type of THC that instead of like, because e each type affects you differently, this one fucking knocks you out. Um, but if you're able to stay awake, it's like very vibey. You vibe very well. But as soon as you get into bed, you're just like, okay, bye. <laughs> I have very good sleep with it. Hello? Hey, mom. Oh, chips. I was just in the middle of something. Give me a moment, okay? Oh? Okay, sorry about that. How are you doing? You explain your whole situation. Hmm, I see. Well, here's what I think. You should find the Grub Caverns and see what's going down there. Okay, so we gotta go there next. Lying down while high is so intense, right? <laughs> right? Um... I've also I, I've also dabbled in the hallucinogenic stuff before, and just lying down and looking at the ceiling is really intense. I also stared at a static TV with a friend for like a good thirty minutes. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's it's definitely an experience. Uh, as long as you're with people that you trust, uh, it. It should be a good experience. I've been around people that I did not trust in an in environment that I was not comfortable in, and it was, it felt like it would last forever, and not in a good way. <laughs> have I, have I ever, have I ever told you about the first time I, I got high with you guys? It's a funny story. Three Red Bulls and take all the sleepy gummies, and then you'll just be up all night. <laughs> Okay, so we gotta go to Grub Caverns. It's not every day you get a letter from the Insect Queen. I think it's just east from dinners. Don't forget you can jump with... Bleh. Hope that helps. Hope you're doing okay, Chips. Oh, there's the... there's our dad with the grabby hands. I'll be thinking of you. Oh, hang on. Dad's got something to add. You know how he is. When he knows the right answer, he can't help but share it. Should I put him on the phone? I think I got it. No problem. <laughs> 
He just slides away. No problem, sweetie. Come visit sometime. Okay. So, she said it's east from dinners, right? Howdy, stay. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, I want to be the... I want to be howdy. So, we're at dinners, and we gotta go east. To the grub caverns or something. Oh, yeah. oh here's this guy. <laughs> okay, so this is erasing. This is painting. You can do this. And then there's also a bucket, right? Nice. No! I didn't mean to do that. Jump. This is recenter. How do we? Uh. No. I'm trying to figure out how we uh go into the. How we swim in the paint. Oh, there. We press A. Oh, look, I'm painting you. Okay, so we gotta go there, I guess. <laughs> I'm just, I'm trying to relearn the controls. What? Okay, so. We Splatoon now? Yeah, we're just gonna be like, well. But yeah, the first time I got high, it was in high school. I was very curious as to what it was. And I worked at this shop where my coworkers would often coming to work hi we're a dog we're a squid we're a dog we're a squid so I uh, one night when we were cleaning up on a Sunday we were like doing inventory and stuff after hours and they were all like yeah let's go let's go in the back and like do some weed you want to come along uh, little lady and I'm like yeah sure I wasn't really trusting of these people, but I really wanted to do it, so I did it. And <laughs> it was an experience. It was it was a very big experience. It got to the point where I couldn't do work anymore, and then my coworker had to drive me home while he was high too. And I was and then I had to like pretend that I wasn't high to my mom and my sister. And the next day at school was like hell. <laughs> I didn't I didn't really feel that great. But it was an experience and it taught me that I should be around people that I trust. And not to do it at work again. Splatoon 3 is in December? Yeah, I heard that. I uh I'm not super interested in in playing Splatoon anymore. Because when I was playing it before, um... Oh shit, we got these ants. These guys. Because uh, when I played Splatoon 2... Uh, you know, you guys know how my internet is. My internet was awful and I kept disconnecting from matches. And it just got to the point where I just didn't want to try anymore. It's very intense every time. I can barely speak without getting speech jammed by myself, right? You start overthinking what you're speaking. You're like, wait, what? What was I saying? Uh, 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 yeah. Let's 
let's see. Where can we go? I guess we can jump down and then paint something so the ants can't eat it. Oh, there's a present! Fuck! Go away, ants. I don't want like I don't like you. Or whatever the fuck they are. Paint eating insects. Okay, we got that. Oh! Hell yeah. Present! Well, it's like the way I speak. I'm holding the sentence in mind preloaded, but as I talk when hi, my brain is holding it twice, which causes it to cancel itself out. That is a very apt description of it. I think I know what you mean. I think I understand what you mean. Any little buggers in here? Oh, we got stairs. Oh, and we got another way, too. So let's try going the other ways before going down. Yeah. <laughs> Do not litter. All who litter shall die, shall perish. What is it? Descent to feast, shortcut to surface, bugs only. Oh. But we're not a bug. If only we were a bug. Oh, there's another one here. They littered twice? What has the world come to? This world is full of litters. Litterers. Oh, buggies. They littered twice! How could they? I can't believe. Who in their right mind would litter? Twice. I got studs! Shit, I'm cool now. Oh, I should probably go up here. Okay. Oh, were we here before? We might have been here before, because it looks like I colored in this part. Purple. Cursor bobbing up and down from shaky leg. <laughs> you guys keep noticing that. Yeah. I'm just, uh, always shaking. Always doing the stanky leg. The stanky frange leg. Wait, where are we? Grub caverns. Oh, yeah, we gotta go down the stairs. I, I think we, uh, missed that. So, okay, this is another way to go in, I guess. Frange from Elvis Ark? Frange on Elvis Ark. Oh, because Elvis always did the shaky leg, right? I don't know too much about Elvis other than like a lot of his famous songs, but. Or some of his famous songs. Yep, he did the shaky leg. He did the. Pew, 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 while standing up. 
the stanky like just get wait until the point where where my shaky leg gets to be like this <laughs> hopefully not my leg has been shaky for uh like my whole life i remember my mom um uh, one of my one of my aunts has has uh shaky legs too like she shakes her leg while she sleeps too and uh, my mom said that's like superstition that like shaking your leg is like shaking out all of your good luck. So they, they told me like, stop shaking your leg, don't shake your leg. When I was young. And I was like, I can't, I can't stop shaking. I'm just too, too cool. Next will be gyrating hips, hips. Yeah, you'll see me uh, gyrating these cakes. But hey, do hey, CZ, welcome. How's it going? How the fuck do I get up here? I want to get that litter, and it will end with sandwiches made out of an entire French loaf, an entire jar of peanut butter, an entire jar of jelly, and a pound of bacon. Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> It will end with entire French loaf, entire jar of peanut butter, entire jar of jelly, and a pound of bacon. Is that from somewhere? Is that a reference to something? Look! Look at this! Oh, yeah, you can pick it up here. Nice, nice. Maybe that's why I have such bad luck? You and me both. Well, maybe I have good luck in, like, games and stuff. Okay, we got that. Nice. I described was Elvis's fucking favorite sandwich. Really? That's what he ate? Would he eat it all in one go? Also, I think I, I want to get up here because there's a present up there. He would fly cross country to eat that shit? <laughs> yeah, damn Elvis, chill. Also, you got the money to fly cross country like that? Okay, we gotta go up there. Oh, of course he did. Never mind. He's Elvis. Oh, wait. Cat? 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 Kitty? Oh my god, Kitty. Come out of here. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Translation. Shaky leg irritated a parent once upon a time, so they started telling kids it was bad luck. Yeah. That, that sounds about right, because it is a sh superstition. I doubt shaky leg is actually bad luck. They probably just was like, were like, kid, please stop. You gotta stop shaking your leg, and kid is anxious as fuck, and they're like, no! He ate it a lot? As though he, he ate as though he had the appetite of an entire neighborhood? Food was his main vice? Yeah, didn't he, like, gain a lot of weight? later on in his life? Probably when, once he got like older and his, his uh, metabolism stopped working as well. His body was just like, <laughs> bro, I give up. Peanut butter and banana. I don't, I don't think I've ever had that. <laughs> Grub deep. I like these little things. Shaky leg isn't isn't bad luck, but stanky leg does give bad luck. How do you do the stanky leg? What's the stanky leg? And where does stanky leg come from? What are the origins of stanky leg? She's taking a little nap. Thank goodness, uh, this bucket became a thing. Saving my life. Saves everyone's lives. Ah! Watch out! 
Phew, you almost stepped on me, <laughs> says the thing that I can't see. I'm Prunus, the royal bug ambassador. I've been waiting to take you to the queen. Queen Drosera, ruler of all insects. She's, well, she's not accustomed to outsiders. But this matter is serious, so you'll need to meet her. Our city is deep, deep down at the heart of these caverns. The path might be tough for a non-bug like you. Well, I'll see you down there. I really hope I don't step on any of the bug, uh, uh, on any of the bug citizens. <laughs> oh, Fool's Gold Loaf. Oh, is that the name of it? Let me see. Holy shit. Single warm, hollowed out loaf of bread filled with contents of one jar. Oh my god. That's huge! How could someone eat that in one sitting? I would- my stomach would fucking explode. I would throw up. Peanut butter, banana, and bacon on a whole loaf of bread. Well, what- isn't it jelly and bacon? Holy shit! Oh. Uh. Oh, uh, <laughs> that's fucking terrifying. What the fuck? So I guess you just lure them where you want them to go. They really like paint, apparently. Read the part about the Elvis connection. Now he liked fried bananas on his PB sandwiches. Elvis Presley connection. David Adler's book contains a detailed account of the event that made the Fool's Gold Loaf sandwiches famous. <clears throat> Three men dis d began discussing the sandwich, and Presley decided he wanted one right then? They drove to the Memphis airport, boarded Presley's private jet, and flew two hours to Denver at 1.40 a.m. She had brought 22 fresh fool's gold loaves for the men. They spent two hours in the hangar eating the sandwiches. Washing them down with Perrier, Perrier and Champagne. Oh my fucking god, they ate 22 of them? I'll, I'll be- it was- it was multiple people. But like, what? <laughs> Y'all... People with good metabolism... Damn, and also they probably worked out or something. Please, please, just come. <laughs> it's just straight up bananas, yeah. He ate way more than his metabolism could handle. He gained so much weight. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, I remember, uh, I saw pictures of him later on in his life, and it's just like, damn. Bruh. Like, I'm glad that I've at least, like, spent most, most of my life, tr like, holding back. Well, not really holding back, but, like, not pigging out. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> that surprised me a little bit. That actually surprised me. Ah! What? It won't let me up there. Do I have to get the insect thing up here? Or do I have to, like... Hmm. Oh, she shaked off the... She shook off the paint. Hmm. 
Come over here, little insect. Well, the insect can't get down there. Hmm. That thing gives me the heebie-jeebies, that insect thing. Don't you guys- it's like going like- do this. I want to get over to this little present. I guess? You, you, you guess you see it too? Or, uh... How the hell do we get over here? My juice! Just let me go up. What was that noise again? Uh. That. I can't get up here. I, I assume we have to use... I see. <laughs> well, it's okay if you don't... If you, it doesn't give you the heebie-jeebies. Uh, it's just... It, it's just me. You hear. You see. <laughs> Franj angry at the juice getting slurped. That's what she wanted to do. God damn it. Yeah, I wanted to slurp up the juice. Please let me slurp. I can't really hear it. I Z. Well, maybe it's a bit too quiet. Uh... Turn the volume a little bit, but I just don't want it to be too loud. Hmm. This is an interesting problem. We can't really move forward. I don't know how to get up on the higher ledges. Sounds slimy? Yeah, it's pretty slimy. I don't really like slimy noises. Yeah, the way, bitch. <laughs> no, bruh. Come over here. Okay. Ah! <sighs> Okay, that's perfect. Stay right there. Let's see. Uh, let me look up a guide. I'm lazy. I'm not gonna make my head hurt even more over this. 
a chicory. Guide grub caverns. Anyway, how are you doing, CZ? I forget if I asked you that before. You just got off work, right? Let's see. Grub caverns. Oh, the thing, the thing that you want them to do is, uh, let's see, is you get on top of them, actually, you can get on top of them and then you can guide them to where you want to go. Uh, and then you do this, Wow! I knew I was missing something. Okay, so let's go! <laughs> We're riding the bug. All right, so we wanna go here. We want this one to go here. No, 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 go back. Let me go here. Thank you, bug. I'll give you a little smooch as a gift. Yarsh! Careful! It must be hard for you to see in this dark. Well, good news, the city is just ahead. I hope I didn't scare you too much about Queen Drosera. She is a massive ancient beast of the darkness. Oh boy, that doesn't make me even more scared. <laughs> but also a total sweetheart. I'm sure you'll be fine. Come along now. That makes me feel so much better. Smiley. Okay, let's go. Oh, litter. Why is there a phone booth down here? Is there some kind of wiring for the phone? Oh, drat. The way to the city is just down from here, but these rocks have fallen the way. What an inconvenience. Well, not for me. I can crawl around them easily. But life is hard for a non-bug, isn't it? As an ambassador, I've learned a lot about cultural sensitivity. Like cultural sensitivity to people who can't get through tiny spaces. Don't y'all just hate not being a bug? I wish I could be a bug. I suppose you'll need to find a way through. Don't worry, I'll wait patiently for you. Alright. Well, if we need help, at least we can get help from our mommy and daddy. Hmm. I mean, we can get through tiny spaces, can't we? We can just uh, splatoon our way through. Damn! This is a jam. Okay, my little steed, or my big steed, I guess. All right, let me bring you with me. All right. 
Blam! Well. Let's see. What do we have here? Alright, so... I guess we gotta get on top of it. Let's go. What? Hey, Koro! Welcome! Thank you for the raid! How's the rest of your stream? I was mostly lurking during the stream, but it looked like you guys are having fun. You were playing Grand Theft Auto? Oh boy, I didn't know that. <laughs> anyway, welcome. How are y'all doing? Garage raid. Money, 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 money. Welcome. I hope y'all are having a good day so far. And that you had a great rest of stream. How are y'all doing? I'm doing pretty good. Hello, Dodo. Hello, Dodo. <laughs> Hello, Krrr. I, uh, I'm doing pretty well. I do have a headache, but this game... Uh, I'm, I've just been like chilling so today's stream is is pretty low energy but we're just we're just chilling we're just chilling your P new PNG looks so good right it looked really great you have to thank Cora for making it yeah Cora did a good job yeah, chilling is good. We're just we're just chilling. We're uh, taking a little ride on this little bug's back. Look at it. Look at them go. Look. At it. We're picking up litter like good citizens. <laughs> oh wait, how the fuck did I get there? How the oh. Ah. But yeah, we're just doing a little painting game. We're. Uh... <coughs> We're, we're going to Bugland. We were invited to the Bug uh, Kingdom, or whatever it is. Yeah, I'm a big fan of Koro's art as well. Let me see, we go down there. There's this giant bendy straw. <laughs> That's cute. Hmm. We're just trying to figure out puzzles. My brain, my brain is trying to figure it out. It's so good at art. Bless Koro. Yes, bless the fox. Bless the little scrumpy fox. Oh, what? Oh shit. So, okay, so we got that. Still don't know what we're supposed to do. I want that giant present. That giant present looks cool. Well, yeah. Anyone who's come over from Coral's raid, feel free to chill for a bit. We're we're being sleppy. We're being chill. Let's see. Got this. Oh no, don't eat it up, bug. Fuck. The bug is eating up all my paint. Get get over there. Fuck off. Fuck. Oh, I'm blocking its way. <laughs> Bad bug. Don't eat my paint. Oh, 
Oh, I think I know what we're supposed to do. So put the bug over here. And then we blast onto it, I think. No! No! Why'd you move? Okay. Wow! <laughs> now we're on a little bug train. Bug bus. The bug is a preschooler. He eats paint. <laughs> I... I guess, yeah. Preschoolers did eat paint. Didn't they? They're little stupid little beat little buggers. Fuck. I ate paper when I was in preschool. Or at least I tried to. I didn't like it. What weird things did you guys eat when you were young? Oh, okay. I think I need to bring the bug uh, down here. That might be it. Well, there. Now give me the present. <laughs> Live on stream. Oh, this li this style makes straight lines and angles. Hell yeah. Give me those straight lines and angles. Uh, because crotch goblins are, are idiots. <laughs> I thought you said they eat pain, and I was like, yep, sounds about right. Yeah, I'll believe, I'll believe it. They eat, they eat, uh, pain and suffering. But they also cause pain and suffering. Let's see, so we got that. I think there's something up in the room above, too. Oh, stupid bug, come up here. My fucking god, it ate my pain again. Okay, so we gotta figure this out. Uh. <laughs> See, we got that. We can jump across here. And then... Can we jump across here? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh shit, sorry. What? We need what? Holy shit! I'm being teleported back. The game's like, no idiot, you can't do that. Also, hey, not a vampire, welcome! How's it going? Let's see, what do we gotta do? Hmm. We gotta get on top of them somehow. Maybe it's from this angle. I think we m might not have everything that we need yet. Because it doesn't look like there's any way to get on top of them. This present will have to wait till later. Going okay? Trying out Dragon Quest Builders 2? I heard that was a really fun game. If you like those kinds of games. Because someone I knew uh, started playing it and they played it for so long. Because <laughs> it was really fun. So I hope you enjoy it. Okay, we can't get around there. But maybe we can go over here. Hmm. Well, okay, that won't explode it. We got some places we want to go. Just a few. Just a few places we want to go. Oh, can we push them? Can we push these explodey things across map? Maps? Because that would be nice. Ah! Oh! 
Oops! Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, he's gonna have a little feast for a bit. Too much dialogue for a building game, though? Oh, okay. Does it try to be like an, a JRPG, too? Okay, well, actually, that went in according to plan somewhat. Oh! Got a little excited there. friend come back Be didn't mean to blow up our bomb it's free to play on Nintendo switch online for the next three days oh damn I might try it out we'll see how I feel but thanks for the heads up oh my god you stupid bug Bug! Please. It just... dead on the inside. <laughs> Please. Thank you. Oh yeah, it is a Dragon Quest game first and foremost, but it does what it does very well. Ah, okay. Combat is action real time. It's simple but okay. Yeah, I guess if they're trying to fit focus on building then they wouldn't want to make the combat too complicated no sorry for your I'm sorry guys if I hurt your ears me is very sleppy something bad happens instantly wakes up and then goes back to sleep I wake up scream and go back to sleep that's just how life is <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> okay, can we push this across? If this doesn't work, I'm gonna fucking scream. <gasps> sad. I want to cry. Fuck! <laughs> this game is fun, but also it can be like really hard to control. Also, I'm not actually upset. I'm just playing it up. Although it was annoying. Let's see, okay. Let's see, so we got up here. Actually, we don't need to be up here, I think. Hmm, I see a, an opening over here. How do we get there? Oh, it's behind the rocks over there.
I think we need to do this room. I think that's where we need to go. But I'm not quite sure how to do it. Now let's try something. Oh! That actually worked! Okay. 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 I'll, I'll... I'll accept that game. Also, this bug isn't eating anymore. What are you doing? I guess he's kind of full. Maybe he's full. We got big fungus. That's a great hat. I like that. Okay. Okay, so we need to go back here. Okay, it's back to eating. I think we might have run into a bug. Doesn't look like we can go past here. Oh, do we have to get the bug to move it around? God. Wait, this funky little paint game has puzzle puzzles? Yeah, it does have puzzles. It has a lot of puzzles actually. Like almost every dungeon is like a puzzle. Also, hey Riz! Welcome. How's it going? So I'm supposed to get it to I'm supposed to get to follow the paint without Exploding that bubble. And these bugs are really hard to control. So this. Okay. Yay! I knew of the art style, but I didn't realize what the gameplay actually was. Oh, yeah, yeah. This. It's like really big on puzzles. Um, in like a good way and also like a bad way. Because, <laughs> like, in. Like with this area, the puzzles are really frustrating because these bugs are really hard to control. You can't control them directly. You have to like lure them with paint and they just kind of move randomly. <laughs> Hope your day is going good. It is going good. Thanks for asking or thanks for for wishing me a good day. I hope your day is going well as well. Let's see. I think we gotta bring this little bubble over and then go wee over here. Uh, actually, I think we gotta go to the bottom. There, yeah. And fucking <laughs> blow ourselves up. Okay, okay, buggy, you you're coming back here. You being you you're comfy over there, Cabal. You're looking comfy. All right, so we can do that. Ah! We can bring this back over here. 
Yes, we're making progress. Nice. Okay, so I think there is a present over here. I love presents. You are comfy? I'm glad. We got spike helmet. Nice. Uh, let's see. Where else we gotta go? Okay, it's not close enough for us to actually explode it right now. What is this map? Map and camera. We're in grub caverns. Do we not get a map of, like, the inside of the thing? No? Okay, let's see... Okay, I think we gotta get across here or something. How do we get there? Hmm. We have this, but we can't bring it across borders, I think. Yeah, we can't. Okay, so we got there. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how we're supposed to get there. Nim nim. Just let be. Get out of the way, you little bug. If you guys see anything that I can do, feel free to tell me, but I doubt uh, y'all can see much, because I'm not seeing anything. Let's see, we got this. Let's see, Mom? Yes, yes please. I need my mommy. <laughs> Hello? It's me, Mom. Ah, Chips, your sister was just here. Is everything okay? You explain your whole situation. Oh, hmm, that's interesting. Well, here's what I think. You'll have to find your way down the feast. You must be getting close now. But you'll have to clear the rocks down there. Okay, sweetie? Yep, yep, they told me that. Our dad wants to tell us something. Your dad has something to say. Yes, I want to hear what he has to say. Hey, Magpie! Welcome! Welcome! How's it going? Okay, I'll put him on. Hey there, kiddo. Here's what you gotta do. If you're really, really stuck, me, you may have to look for answers online! <laughs> oh my fucking god! The game is just telling me, look up, look up the answers online. <laughs> Which I did already do, but... Oh, for the other area. Your old man didn't get this far without looking up a few answers. But while I'm here, want the gist of how to get through? Yeah. If you swim, you can go one scream north from here. Then you'll want to go left, left, up, right, then down. That'll let you access the bottom of that main room and open up more paths. Then you want to head- Who? Who? He's telling me a lot. South? Get on the high road. Go up. All the way left across the high road, down through the gap and room. Oh, oh, oh. You need to head right and keep bombing forward? Makes sense? Yeah, you got this. Good luck. Oh, wow. I needed to write that down, but I didn't. Hello, fellow trickery player. How are things? I am stuck, but I am making my way through. Also, hello, fe <laughs> fellow trickery player. 
You want a hint? Yeah, sure. Okay, here's the solution. And in a very detailed way, too. <laughs> the the solution was too intense for me. BRB dinner? Yeah, the... All the areas are named after foods or like some kind of like picnic thing. There's like luncheon, there's dinners, this is grub caverns, there's feast. I like the naming convention. So okay, so this is like the main room. We already did the first part of what he told us to do, but we need to get on the high road. Uh, but I do not know. Oh wait, never mind. We can get up here. Okay, we got this. Okay, we go up here. Okay, so if we go here, uh, what is it? And push this over. Ah! Yay! Okay, so this is just a, sh a shortcut. Non-binary person playing as a non-binary character? Sweet! Oh, I didn't know that uh, main character was non-binary. It's pretty cool. But, uh, I hope you're doing alright, Salon. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, shit. I think the power might have, like, gone out very temporarily in my play in my house. Let's see, so where do we go next? Uh... Oh, litter. Nice. We're cleaning up after people. Who knows how they got this shit down here. Pizza, is their cam canon name is non-binary as there's no gender assigned to them? Oh! Huh. I didn't realize that. I never realized that people didn't um, refer to you as like some kind of gender pr gendered pronoun, which is very nice. But now that I think about it, you're right. Let's see, where do we go? One second, my head is like. You ever guys, you guys ever get that thing where your headphones are on your head for too long and then it starts like making the outside of your head like ache? Now if only Nintendo can learn to stop gendering their characters in Pokemon, or at least the option, right? Also Harvest Moon, please. Harvest Moon? Or, there, it's not called Harvest Moon anymore, it's called Story of Seasons. Cause like, if you guys played Pioneer, Pioneers of Olive Town, Olive Town? Um, I was very excited because, like, the customization, you didn't choose your gender right away, like, between girl and boy, and, like, the, you could use any cosmetic to customize your character, and they tried to steer away from gendered, gendered words for some of the customizations, so I was like, whoa, do we not have to choose our gender? That's cool, but no, no, you have to choose your gender after customization. And I was very disappointed. There are plenty of non-binary characters in video games like Kirby, the knight from Hollow Knight. Oh, I didn't know the knight from Hollow Knight was non-binary. And Kirby makes sense too, because Kirby is a literal eldritch blob. I love old Kirby. Hey Sakyo, welcome. How you doing? And yes, it is I, the doodle. Let's see, I don't know what to do next. So he said that we need to get on the high road, right? So we're up here. I need to try the new Kirby game, but Kirby goodest blob, right? Kirby best blob, uh, Kirby love. 
Oh, I think we need to uh, bomb this. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Bug. Okay, let me go up. <laughs> All right, bomb! Woo! Explosion! Okay, now I get it now. We need to like keep bombing. We need to bomb this area too. Also, I definitely recommend the new Kirby game. Uh, whenever you're able to get it, or can get it. It is, it is just very feel good. I love it. Doing great. I figured out a setting in my animation software and I screamed so loud. What what setting was it, Sakyo? I remember you were talking, uh, you were saying you were working on something last night. Did it? Does it help with your work too? Understand why a lot of people don't want to assign genders to Pokemon, but bear in mind there are Pokemon that are good for for transgender people. I think they were talking about um, assigning gender to the main character in a Pokemon game. Kind of like how Animal Crossing does it. Like Animal Crossing, you can, the gender literally doesn't do anything when you choose your gender. Although you still have to choose it, I guess. Gotta pay off my Mahjong set before I can make my any acquisitions. Oh yeah, yeah, you bought Lotta Chu's Mahjong set. Man, now I want to take a look at it again now that I play Mahjong. You know how long is the new Kirby game if I want to do everything? Um, you could probably Google it. Now I'm curious too. Uh, and the forgotten land length. Like if you want to do completionist, how long to be? Let's see, if you're completionist, it'll take, ooh. <laughs> it'll take like 40 hours if you want to do all completionists, but if you just want to get through the main story and do some extras, it'll take uh, 25 hours, according to the site. That's like the average. Yeah, if you want to do completionist, it'll take a while. Because there's a lot to collect. Shipping price was a bastard? Oh yeah, because it ships from outside the US. You'll see in a while? Oh, nice. Hype? Yeah, that makes sense, Lon. Mm, oh, one second. Well, I am back. We're trying to get a bug to do our bidding for us, but it keeps... Okay. Try not to make it explode, okay. Pog. 24 at five hours for main story didn't look that long. It's it's 15 hours for main story, but 25 hours is for story plus extras, which I'm not sure what the extras are. It's just according to the website. Oh, oh now we're back here. Nice. Fuck. Okay, but now we can push this across. Oh my god, it's just eating all the paint. But yeah, I doubt it's a, a very big game with a long, expansive story. Nice! Nice. We're almost there. Oh, Frange is... Okay. Hell yeah. Okay, we got it. Why 
We'll probably be buy it later on. Yeah, if you do, I hope you enjoy it. You finally made it! Well done! It's just a bit further now. I can't wait. Nice. Thank you, little bug friend. Hey, can we sit on this? Color in our throne. Nothing else. Nothing else matters. Oh, now we have a different color palette. This is it! The entrance to feast. You'll be the first wielder to visit in decades. What a huge, exciting moment. And it's zooming in on the bug. We can't even fucking see the bug. <laughs> Tiny guy. I hope this isn't rude. But you don't look very excited. You seem a bit sad. Oh. Well, I guess I am. Oh. Sorry, I've just been thinking. About a fight I had with a friend. Oh yeah, we had that fight with Chicory, and Chicory doesn't believe in us. Chicory, like... <laughs> yeah. Uh, falling out happened with Chicory. Oh, I see. Um, to be honest, I'm starting to feel like I shouldn't even be the wielder. Oh. Chicory is an amazingly talented artist, and I'm nobody. I don't think I belong here. Well, I understand how you feel. You do? It's really tough being the royal bug ambassador. I've learned so much about non-bug cultures. Just speaking your language is really tough for a bug like me. Oh, poor little bug. You barely have an accent! Thank you. All my life, my skills have been totally useless. Actually, they make me different from everyone. So I don't feel like I belong here either. You're the first non-bug I've ever met. Oh, wow. Sorry, I must be disappointing. <laughs> Me. No, no, you're lovely. I think you're doing a good job. You came when we needed you. That's really what matters. And, uh, for once, I don't feel useless. So thank you very much. Thank you, character that doesn't even have a sprite. You're very nice. Anyway, let's go meet Queen Drossera. Okay, let's go. Feast. You know, maybe we should be spending more time, like, coloring and everything. Well, honestly, I don't really feel like it right now. Normally I do, but... I like the bug windows. Look at them. They're so squinkly. This one has eyes and a face. They're such a tiny bug, you can't see them, yeah. And like, when you first meet them, you almost step on them, because you couldn't see them. Oh, you can talk to them? Oh, they speak uh, the bug language. Squiggly bug windows, yeah, they're very good windows. Look at those tiny windows. There's They got windows for tiny bugs, they got windows for big bugs. <laughs> I'm just very- I just really hope that I'm not stepping on any bugs. Let's color this in. Make him- make it pretty. A little pretty area for the bug friends. <gasps> There's litter! No one litters on my watch. Because that's what you do as an artist, right? You you pick up litter. <laughs> oh, we got green here, too. Now it looks very pretty. Nice, nice. 
Mmm, I'm feeling very creative right- Oh no! It's very bright. Oh, what's this? Is that a computer? Is that a bug computer? Oh, that's a big one. Please don't step on me. Tiny boy! Is that a spider? <gasps> oh, he didn't like that! <laughs> he keeps shaking off the paint. Oh, I'm sorry. Even though I did that three times. Oh, this must be where the, the queen is. Okay, this is Queen Dressera's lair. I've spoken to the guards so you can enter. Um, just one thing. You can't speak bug, can you? N no That's okay. Give me just a moment. Ah! That tickles. Yes, I'm here on your head now. I'll help you understand Queen Drosera's wretched utter- uh, utterances. <laughs> That's one way to say her- her words. Well, go on then. Oh, he's my little translator. Oh, I thought that I could understand the other bugs too. Uh. <gasps> Surface dweller. How dare you enter our chamber. Looking so darn cute! <laughs> oh, we can't stand it! We swear each wielder gets cuter than the last. You see, I warned you. Oh, she's, she's so embarrassing! Oh, hush, Prunus. Oh, his name's Prunus. So, you'll help us, won't you? We, won't, we don't know why or where they've come from, but we're besieged by black roots from above. They're cramping poor us in our hole here, and they're scaring our citizens, too. Our pact with the wielder means you owe us assistance. Uh, okay, I'll see what I can do. Mm, you don't speak bug, we suppose. That may be tricky. Prunus, would you be a deer and live on this one's head? I now have a bug friend living rent-free in my head. <laughs> Prunus, what a name, yeah. Thank you for the head pat. Uh, of course, it would be my pleasure. Uh, won't that be awkward? Oh, no, no, it's a dream come true. I'll get to learn so much about the surface world. Don't worry, I'll be completely out of your way. I can keep your ears clean, too. <laughs> uh, there's- okay! No. No! No! Should we let him clean, clean our ears? Chat. I kind of want to say okay. Come on, it's free ear cleaning? You don't have to go to the doctors to get it, like like, cleaned out, you know? Yeah, let's do it. Well, sure, I guess. We wish we could live in an adorable sur with an adorable surface dweller, too. Well, the main tangle of roots is south of Feast. Our guards will let you go through to see it. Best of luck to you, little wielder. <laughs> I'm painting her, and it's making her move. She's too big to be painted all at once, it seems. <laughs> Thank you for the head pat! Hey, Senti, how's it going? She's scary, but also her personality makes her cute. Ah! She's just staring- oh my god, she just comes right out for you. 
We're so glad to meet another wielder. They come only so rarely. And truthfully, the last one we met wasn't nearly so cute. Am I cute? I'm doing okay. Might eat some breaded chicken? Oh, that sounds good. I hope you enjoy. Yeah, her personality is very sweet. We have been about for a long, 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 long time. But you little wielders seem to come and go so quickly. So sad. We always miss them. We, we used to live up on the surface once. So long ago now. We were much smaller then. Things were easy. We remember the sun, so hot and bright. We remember that first wielder and their delightful colors. Ah, uh, precious memories. Ah. Uh. Quispy. Can I talk to them now? Nice. Did you and the queen have a nice chat? She's really something else, right? It's very rare that even we get to speak with her. So don't take it for granted. That guy's living up there. Let's go talk to all the people. Sphagum. I don't like these black roots. They say it's something that grew from above. The surface world must be a horrible place. I'm really worried. They won't say anything. But I think the roots are hurting the queen. She's so big! What if she got pinched? Oh, poor queen. Yeah, she is pretty big. They got a phone down here, too. Crinum. Past here is dangerous. I'm supposed to keep folks out. But the queen says you're okay, so you're okay. Go on ahead and have a nice day. Aw, you're cute. I haven't even seen the growth much myself. I did take a peek, but boy, it's scary. I wouldn't want to be the one going in there. I've heard about your black trees. Never seen them grow down this deep, though. Something wild must be going on up there, hey? Yeah, something wild is going on. According to the plot, but... Oh! We're just sitting. Just sitting. Mm, sitting. And having a good time. <sighs> good water. You guys make sure to stay hydrated too, okay? Shitting and farting and shitting and farting. Iconia. Mmm, mmm. You're in charge of making all that tasty color, right? Just looking at your brush makes me hungry. Oh, is it that this person is eating the color? <laughs> I'm giving it food. Drinks water? Hell yeah. Not all bugs eat color, but I sure do. I was so sad when it all suddenly disappeared. Please make as much as possible. You're so cute, Makona. It's rare for the color person to appear here, but they're probably the one surface dweller, dweller who comes because of a pact with the queen. It means more tasty color for us, so it makes us happy. Aww. Who is this person? I want to talk to them. Oh my, what a lovely little creature. How do you make- how do you like my antennae? And my sleek little skin dots, aren't they lovely? They must be overwhelmingly pretty for a foreigner like you. Uh... Uh, sure? It's funny how you cover yourself with those little cloths. Without those, you must be very ugly, I guess? Or does it help you hide from predators? Why do we wear clothes? I wonder so much about your funny surface culture. I love the little sounds you make. Oh, you're just so strange and lovely. Why do we wear clothes? It's so much better to not wear clothes. This is a shortcut up on the surface world. Um, for bugs, I mean. I assume you can't climb up, climb up walls like us. Well, I feel like I will be able to soon. Sometimes I'm jealous of the littler bugs. They can discreetly come and go to the surface world, but there's no way I'm sneaking out there. I mean, here's better anyway, but sometimes I wonder. Yeah, I think if someone like you went up to the surface, 
people would probably be like, what the fuck? Giant. Giant. Same. Oh, can you understand us now? Haha. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Big mood. That's me when I talk to any stranger. Do you know what this place is? When we reach a certain age, bugs come here to go into a hole for a while. While we're down there, we change and grow. It's how we become adults. The majesty of life and growth is here before us. Huh. We have a period like that too. I wouldn't call it magical though. <laughs> ah yes, puberty. A magical experience. Choose your, choosing your hole is technically meaningless, but it has a lot of importance to us. We like to say there's the right hole for each bug. Some holes are used by the same family for generations. What about you? Do any of these little holes feel like yours? Uh, I like this one. Doodle. Verba verbally keyboard smashes while talking to strangers. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, if you... And that happens on stream, too, sometimes when I trip over my words a lot. So many stories come from these little holes. For example, how do you know when you're ready to go? What happens when somebody waits too long to go into the hole? I can recommend some great books with tales like these. Oh, but I suppose you wouldn't be able to read them. Yeah, because it's written in bug language. I think there's one other person that we didn't talk to. Oh, is this a shop? Oh, oh my! Hello! I've never spoken with a surface dweller before. Uh, this... Wow, this is a very big deal for me. I'm a huge fan of your surface culture. I love collecting your, uh, litter. Fascinating, delicious little things. Do you have any? If you give me some, I'll trade for things I've collected. Oh yeah, I can give you my litter. Uh, these don't look very cool to me though. I don't really like this bug furniture. Do you hear much about feasts in your surface world? Not really, no. Not at all. Oh, I see. Well, you're quite mysterious to us as well. I've heard of bugs who went up to live in your world, but it must not be easy. Yeah, you probably get stepped on a lot. Give me some of your litter and you can have anything on display. A cultural exchange! Maybe not right now. Wow, 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 wow. I talked to this guy. Oh! I missed you. Did you meet the queen? I'm so jealous. Isn't she amazing? Beautiful? I want to be as huge as her when I grow up. The queen is the oldest of all bugs. She's so wise and great. I don't think anyone knows why she's so big and so old, but I hope she stays that way forever. The queen never ever leaves her lair. So it's pretty rare that anyone gets to see her. You have to be pretty important. I hope I can be important enough someday. I'm sure you will, little guy. And then there's a person that I cannot reach. Although I hope I can, because there's litter up there. Okay, so I think we need to go south. Time for another dungeon and also more puzzles. No turning back now. Especially since we just jumped down that really tall wall. Ooh. 
Let's go. Oh, this thing. Oh, no. Are we gonna have to fight a boss again? Oh, yep. Sounds like it. Fuck. Oh, it's dark me. Chips. Huh? Get up, give it up already. What do you think you're doing here? I... I'm not scared of you. But I am you. I know everything there is to know about you. Look at you, playing the wielder. You really think you should be the one holding that brush? Well, no. But I'm doing my best. Chicory trusted me with it. Chicory? After what she said, you think she trusts you? No, she probably hates me. Of course she does. You're completely alone. And embarrassing yourself. It's time we put an end to it. I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do, but I guess I just gotta wait it out. The music is a fucking jam, though. Yeah, the music- yeah, the music is rad as fuck. I just wish I knew what I was supposed to do. Thank you for banning the- the bot, Cabal. I took a look at the bot, and I was just like, ew. Bot. What are we supposed to do? Music is done by Lena Rain, composer of Celeste. Oh, no wonder it's so good. I haven't played Celeste, but I heard it has good music. Looks like that did some uh, damage. Yeah, that's why it's a bop.
So I just gotta keep pounding my other self with paint. the most fun bo boss fight. Uh, the other ones had you like doing more stuff. Am I just doing something wrong? Am I missing something? Ah! Fuck. I wasn't paying attention. Come on, game, please. Please, how much HP does this character have? Can I pause? Is it gonna hit me? I'm looking up a guide to see what exactly we gotta do. We have to change the type of paint that we use? I was trying to change my paint color. The, the button that I used to change my paint color isn't working. I, th I think we're using pink paint. Apparently the guide says to change what paint color you use. Oh, I see. We have to do it on the other side. Okay. We were just doing it the wrong way. <laughs> That's a bit, uh... Now she's invincible or something.
Oh, this is so hard for me to keep track of. Ah! Oh, I don't like the little whimper she makes, or they make. What a waste of time. I'm not going anywhere. The Black Forest will swallow everything, and it'll all be your fault. Bop! Chapter 5, The Source. You can continue playing. Power up! You can now swim up vertical surfaces. Nice. So let's do it. Spider Man, Spider Dog, doing what a spider dog can. I want to get over here though. I guess we can only swim up the, the special vertical surfaces. The music- oh! Pop! Yeah, she's just like- Bye bye Um, excuse me! Did you take care of that black tangle? Yep. Okay, because it would appear that, in fact, nothing has actually changed or improved. Well, thanks for your help. You might want to talk to the queen before you leave. Whoop, okay. Nothing has changed or improved at all. Despite my best efforts. Okay, let's talk to this guy. Ah! Sorry, I've never seen anything like you. Uh, oh my. Are those your eyes? How does that even... Ah! Sorry, I'm trying not to be rude. <laughs> it's alright, my dude. Picking up after a litter. Oh, is that you there, Prunus? Mm-hmm. I'm so happy to see you paired up with a wielder. Prunus is a really big wielder fan, did you know? Why, he always used to say... <laughs> um, sorry. I don't want to translate that. She's being really embarrassing. <laughs> no, you can't just choose what to not translate. I want to understand, Prunus. Prunus, please. Prunus and I are old, old friends, so I know how much this means to him. Show him all your exciting service world, and also please be kind to him. I can actually speak a little of your surface language. Prunus taught me some phrases. Wanna hear? Sure. Ha hello! It's a nice to meet you? Prunus makes it sound so easy. <laughs> it's a nice to meet you too. That's really cute, though. We're stuck in the window. <laughs> oh, hello! It's so interesting to meet a surface dweller. I can't believe you climbed up here to chat with me. That's so lovely. Really, I didn't expect that. Why would you... Hmm. Well, I don't want to assume anything. But you should know, I'm really only interested in dating other bugs. I'm sorry, I feel awful saying it. It's just, things are complicated, you know? I hope that wasn't disappointing to hear. You do really seem lovely. I just got friend-zoned by a bug. But I wasn't even trying to not be friends with them. 
I hope you find the right match for you down here. Or, uh, anywhere. You're a little full of yourself, aren't you? <laughs> Thinking I want to date them? Who do you think you are, a bug? Huh? <gasps> I got B. <laughs> you got B. Oh yeah, there's like a shortcut to the surface from here, right? Whoa! Wow, you really can climb walls. You're pretty cool for a surface dweller. Yep. The coolest. Same energy is getting told. Um, I have a boyfriend when you simply say anything to a woman. Yeah. Like, or you're just nice to them. You're, you're like, Hey, how's it going? I hope you're having a good day. Um, I have a boyfriend. I'm taken. It's like, um, okay, I... Okay, I was just being polite. Although, I guess that wouldn't happen to me, since I am female presenting, so it would happen more to just, like, people who are male... or masculine presenting presenting, I guess. So there's like feminine and masculine. Let's see. Taking a look at those roots yet, dearie? Sure did. Sure did. But they haven't gone away. No. Come to think of it, whenever I do go into one of those spooky trees, they never actually go away. They just close up. Ah. Then it seems you must find the true source of all the roots. The growths here are vicious, but they are only a symptom of the larger problem above us. That must be the only way to make them go away. The true source of the roots. But where could that be? Huh, I wonder. Maybe it's the namesake of the game? How are we supposed to know, darling? But surely somewhere in the surface world. We're counting on you. Thank you, Drossera. Okay, so apparently this chapter is really short. You've gotten it from cashiers at grocery stores? <laughs> It's like, yeah, that's nice. I'm glad. I hope you're happy with your boyfriend, but uh, uh I'm just trying to get like chips and and shit. <laughs> I think it's like if you're just friendly at all. Okay, so, yeah, this chapter is very short, so we can finish this chapter and then I think I'll end stream. Because what we have to do is try to find the source of the problems. And you know what the source of the problems are, is probably? Yeah, it's probably Chicory, because she's been going through all this shit. Yeah, out these days towards the quiet end, the quiet end of friendly, yeah, like, don't make... Don't really make conversation, I guess. Oh. Oh, there's litter over here.
Oh. What do we have here? Ah, hey, Chips. I've been looking everywhere for you. Um, the Wielder Tower in Luncheon? It's, uh, something spooky is happening there. I mean, I guess it's not a rush, but, like, you should maybe check that out if you get a minute. Okay. I'm going back home now. Okay, I guess we're going back. And how do we get back to luncheon? Oh yeah, there's like a bus stop. Yeah, we can go to dinners or something. Yeah, all signs point to Chicory as the problem, yeah. Because all that shit started when she, when she was the wielder. Yep! Let's go to luncheon. We just get fucking picked up by a falcon. Oh my god! Look at all these roots! This was not like this before. Ch Chicory? Can you hear me? Yeah, luncheon. So fancy. Are you okay? I mean, I know you're probably not. Chicory, something horrible is going on. The black forest is sprouting everywhere. And it's starting to look and talk like me, too. It isn't safe here anymore. Please, you have to come out. Chicory? Are you... Oh, the door's open. Oh, well. That wasn't like this before. It's the painting I did of Chicory. I... I didn't think she'd really hang it up. You came back. Chicory, your decorum is quite, uh, becoming? And also your room got really big. Chicory, you need to get out of this tower. It's not safe anymore. Something horrible is happening here. I'm what's happening here. I told you. All of this came from me. I'm just a broken, messed up person. You can't save me from this. The sooner you abandon me, the better off you'll be. Chicory? I... None of that's true. The last time I saw the darkness, it... Why won't you listen to me? It's all my fault. It's all my fault. It's all my fault. Chicory. Oh, shit. This is a fucking jam, but, uh... <laughs> Chicory, please listen! This dark darkness isn't just you. It started looking and speaking like me, too. It must be something else. Then why did it all come out when I had the brush? Why did all the color vanish? You think you did that? No, but... Right, Franz Jam, but feels bad. Yeah, at the same time. Stop making excuses for me. My entire reign as wielder was a mistake. The only good thing I ever did was pass it on to you. Please forget about me. I'll just make everything worse. Oh, I can't- I can't damage this one, um, so we just have to dodge it for now. Fuck. 
fuck? I'm just sobbing and head banging. <laughs> head bang, but cries. Trickery, you you really think I'm a better wielder than you? Of course you are. But when I saw that part of you in the swamp, you said you regretted giving the brush to me. I regret a lot of things. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I don't know why I'd say something so stupid. Just another mistake. Nothing good comes from me. Why would you even want me around? Yeah, negative spirals are insidious um, because they just feed into it. Just feeds into itself. You have to like find a way to get out of it, but it, it can be really hard sometimes. Also, hey Link, how's it going? I'm doing all right. Trickery, just go. You're better off without me. All these problems came from me. I don't care where they came from. I can't face it all alone anymore. I need your help. I won't abandon you. So stop asking me to. Please. I'm not going anywhere. I'm here. Just breathe. Yeah, it feeds and confirms itself. Sometimes you just need to breathe. You need someone there. You... You've seen yourself in there too? Yeah. It spoke like it was me. And said stuff I was thinking. So something came from me. But if it came from you, and from me too, then it's from something common between us. It must have been. The brush. The brush! When I was wielding the brush, it's like it was connected to me. The more my bond with it grew, the more I could do with it to shape and color reality. You're looking for roommates, but have a cat so it's been hard, but I got a better paid job at the airport? I'm glad you got a better paid job. I hope it's alright and not, like, hard on you. Yeah, it's a very pretty game. It's called Chicory. Uh, Chicory, a colorful tale. The more I could do with it to shape and color reality, but I wonder if it made more things real than just je that. Chips, I'm so, so sorry for whatever you heard in the swamp. That's not who I want to be. When those corruptions talk to me, it's like all my self-doubts come to life, reminding me of every mistake I've made. Chicory, you're so much more than that. It hurts to hear you talk about yourself that way. I forgive you. I just wish I could help. You been thinking of playing Yume Nikki? You have on my Switch the 3D one? Oh no. <laughs> the, the, the 3D one is like not that good. I would prefer like the original that's on Steam. I mean, it's a good time. I liked it because I'm into Yume Nikki, but also like it has a lot of things wrong with it that really you would only like it if you had like uh, a connection to the original like you like the original well more than that I want to be your friend I thought by now you hated me I thought you hated me I'm so sorry I just dropped you into this giant mess I need to be better I'm going to try but I need you to wield the brush 
End of chapter five. I wanted to do the original, but I have a Mac and there's only Windows kind. Oh, I think you can use, uh, there's Easy RPG. Easy RPG is something that people use to play RPG Maker games on their Mac. It's a bit buggy, but it works for a lot of things. God, this part hits deep. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Chicory hits deep. You can now paint and swim on water? Oh, hell yeah. That just opened up a lot of doors. You can swim in water. The center of all corruption and picnic is at the top of this tower. You can see for yourself if you swim up there, but you aren't ready to face it yet because you haven't become a proper wielder yet. I haven't? That's my fault. There's a series of five wielder trials. Well, one was the wielder temple, which you did. So, four wielder trials. One at each corner of Picnic. That's how you're meant to bond with the brush. And that's how you could reach that last step. From now on, I'm going to be your teacher. I can't promise I'll be perfect, but I'm at least gonna try. Yay, we have Chicory as a teacher! You wanna use RPG Maker? I wanna make my own game? Oh yeah, I wish you luck with that. It's pretty easy to do. It's just, the hard part is actually finishing a game. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna fight the giant corruption. Bonding with the brush seems bad. What are the trials? Each trial explores a different aspect of being the wielder. You'll find one at each corner of Picnic. The aim will be to commune with the brush in different ways. So your bond with it is strong as can be. Okay? Each trial is is at one of the furthest reaches of Picnic. So explore out there and you'll find them. Use your map. Or if you're really in a pinch, you can always call for help at a phone booth. Okay? Do you think my bond with the brush somehow made the corruptions? And your bond too? But... Everyone in danger now from is in danger now from those corruptions, and we can't fight them without bonding with the brush. So right now we don't have a choice about it. Yeah, the art's really pretty. And decide what to do with the brush later. Okay? Unfortunately, yeah. The little ones you've been fighting aren't making a difference, so we have to attack it at its source. It's the only way to get rid of it for good. It's gonna be way harder than anything you've done yet. Okay? Okay. You look nervous. Ah, I'm not. It's okay if you are. I was too. And I was under a lot less pressure. I can do it! I want to be stronger. I want to learn how to be a real wielder. And help everyone. And help you too. I can do it. Okay. Come find me at one of the trials. You can do it, Chips. Ah, oh, Chicory said we could do it! She believes in us. Okay, so I'm gonna end it here. And, uh... We can continue this the next time we play Chicory. That might be next week, that might be after that. Who knows what I'll want to play next week. I might actually um, only stream twice next week. Just because I want to keep from getting burnt out. And thank you guys for coming. I always appreciate when y'all come. Even if it can't be for every time. Even if it's like once every once in a while. This was nice. Yeah. I forgot... Like, how chill Chicory is. Like, even if you don't paint everything slowly. It's just good, El. It's, it's good vibes. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Yeah, no problem, Sakyo. Thank you for coming. Right, let's see if there's someone that I'd like to raid. Thank you for the head pat! <laughs> Let's see who is live. Hmm. 
I don't really see anyone that I'd like to raid right now. Or anyone that I'm comfortable with raiding. Really. Um, do you guys have any uh, recommendations? If there's, if there's anyone that you want to watch or want us to raid or support who's streaming right now? Okay, sounds good. Okay, let me switch to this screen. Turn on music. And then we just turn on, uh, we just put on more chicory music. Let me, let me save the game, actually. I need to actually quit and save it. Hmm. Save and quit to title. Sounds good. And God, I need to play more of Rune Factory Rune Factory 5. Faye Yose? Oh, who's that? Let me see. Oh! They look cute! Yeah, I could raid them. Rune Factory 6 when? Oh boy. It took like a decade to get Rune Factory 5. I'm not counting on Rune Factory 6 coming out anytime soon. <laughs> yeah, okay, let's raid Faye Yose. I have no idea who this person is, but let's just say hi, let's be nice, and uh, you can send this raid message if you have my emotes, and this one if you don't. Um, they're playing Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. I think I... I Isn't that like a Borderlands a spinoff? Also, thank you, Coral. Thank you for coming and thank you for the raid. <laughs> but yeah, I'll see you guys next week. We'll be playing more... Um, what was it? Trace Memory and then Off and maybe Chicory. We'll see which games I play. Borderlands meets DND. I heard it's a good game. I saw ads for it. But yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Or next week? Next week? Yeah, I'll see you. Bye bye. Bye. Bye.